New York lawmakers and the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, better known as the ASPCA, are trying to tighten the leash on the puppy mill pipeline. I think the assumption should be, the baseline should be, that every puppy in a pet store has come from a disreputable breeder. What we have to do is combat it at the retail level uh, and prohibit the sale. State Senator Mike Gianaris of Queens is pushing to pass legislation banning New York pet stores from selling dogs, cats, and rabbits. And I'm hoping before uh, our session adjourns next month that it'll also pass the assembly we can get it enacted into law. According to Gianaris and the ASPCA, virtually all of those animals come from puppy mills. It's an environment where animals are bred indiscriminately. It's an environment where animals suffer in an unconscionable way. New York can't regulate the mills because they're out of state. Our jurisdiction over the puppy mills is non-existent. But it can control the stores that sell the animals. And the goal is not to put them out of business or even have much of an impact on their bottom line. Predominantly about 98% of revenue for, for pet stores comes from food sales, supplies, that sort of thing. We do not want to shut down pet stores. What we want to do is promote a humane model. We want pet stores to partner with their local shelter and with their local rescues to make animals available that need homes. But going after stores doesn't fix the issue, contends Tom Delaney with the Associated Dog Clubs of New York, because puppy mills also sell to brokers and dealers through rescues and over the Internet. I don't believe that eliminating a pet store eliminates the problem. It just uh, makes it so you think it's solved, but you really haven't solved it. It, it. You know, everyone feels good. You think you did something, but you didn't actually put any low quality breeders out of business.